uh, Mr. Amarjit Kumar, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 4 in Electronics and Communication Branch of Engineering in ESC 2021. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Mr. Amarjit. Uh, it seems you have availed from Yes Academy the mains live classes. Yes, sir. And the postal coaching. Yeah. Online test series. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, uh, Mr. Amarjit. You please tell us uh, how this uh, Yes Academy mains live classes helped you in your preparation. Yes Academy live classes helped me a lot. If, if especially i will tell in communication system like some derivation part was done very well by sir and also in edc also it was very good they helped me a lot in understanding the depth of the subject of the edc for the preparation of mains in which the edc analog matters a lot in preparation of mains okay did you attend all the classes uh in the mains uh, live program a yeah, few few classes i couldn't in last but okay. approximately more than 80 percent i have attended you attended the mains live classes yeah yeah and also you have got some postal coaching material for this yeah, yeah. Series examination yes sir. was it really helpful to in the exam yes yes sir. obviously and question in that was very similar to the esc examination the questions given for solving Right, very good. So, and also it seems you have availed our uh, online test series also. Yes, sir. So, what was your experience with the online test series? Mm, it was good. Actually, I couldn't give more test uh, online test because I was in IT Madras. That's why I was not getting so much time. So, I gave three to four tests only. The experience was very good. Right, good, uh, Amarjit. Amarjit, can you tell your educational background, your P.Tech college, when did you pass out and currently what you are doing? Mm, I passed out in 2018 from Institute of Engineering and Management, Kolkata. And currently I am working as an executive trainee at NTPC, Bisaka Patnam. Achha, currently you are in the NTPC. Yes, sir. How do you join NTPC through gate? Yes, sir. So what was the track, Amarjit? Amarjit? It was 77 in 2021. 2021, gate 77th rank. Through that gate, you joined the PSC and TPC. Yes, sir. Okay, good, Amarjit. Amarjit, what prompted you to go for engineering services? Actually, it provides the very good service. After college only, I decided to prepare for engineering services. Okay. Uh, it was my third attempt, actually. Hmm. In first attempt, I missed prelims by five marks and in second uh, second attempt previous year i reached up to final stage of the interview but there i missed final section by two marks previous year and this year i was ex yeah, expecting top fourth rank right very good amarjit so you have got a step by step to the top yes, of this sir. ladder of the success yeah previous year actually i was expecting selection is easier list but okay. unfortunately, I couldn't. Mm, I was not in the leader list. So you what really happens, happens for a good only because this time you got a R India fourth rank. I think ah, yeah. uh, you get the your best preferred uh, department. Yes, so hopefully, I will get it. Yes. Yeah, you will definitely get Amarjit. Amarjit, because you made a rigorous preparation for this engineering service examination in communication branch of engineering. Yes, uh, can you please share with us? Uh, so that those sub points will be useful to the other your juniors and other aspirants of ESC exam. What was your strategy in the preparation? Mm. Up, to prelims, might... up to prelims, you tell what you used to do, and after prelims, what you have done. In prelims, uh, my strategy was that day, uh, like I wake up in morning at around five, then from five thirty or six to eight thirty, I used to study technical subject only then from after taking breakfast or something then i used to give test online then after from 9 to 12 or 10 to 12 something i used to give test then after that i was after lunch i was analyzing those tests and main point was that i was noting the question in which i did mistake in copy a separate copy which which is also with me here also so main thing was i was noting the question with solution that 
I did mistake I did plus with the solution that which is given in test stage that which helped me a lot like analyzing what I am doing mistake sometimes I forgot that uh, what I did mistake I didn't recollect what was the mistake that helped me like so that the same mistake I cannot do one once again which helped help me after that. Uh, something a little bit I used to study in in between two to five. Then after that, my plan was from five in between five to nine. My plan was to study GS only, in which it, maybe someday I study two hours or someday three hours or someday maybe three and a half hours. But in between five to nine, I used to study GS only because that time I people used to walk in the evening that time I used to better to study GS subjects. And in night I used to study, study favorite subjects like communication and signal system so that before sleeping I solve some favorite questions, favorite subject questions. Okay. That is what you have done. Okay, yeah. Amarji. See, when it comes to the prelims preparation, we have yeah. the two papers. One is a GS paper, other one is a technical paper. In yes, GS, sir. again, we have almost 10 topics are there, like current affairs, ethics, and uh, drawing like this. So yes, uh, many engineers are uh, uncomfortable in this uh, GS part. Yeah. So could you prepare all the 10 topics with equal emphasis? Otherwise, any no. selective? Current, of, uh, current affairs, I didn't prepare, sir. OK. What about rest of the nine topics? Uh, approximately, I, I, I studied and make all notes of that, short notes. Except current subject. affairs remaining all you have gone through. Yes, sir. So why you have left the current affairs thinking that very vast? Because in TLC, I used to do mis more mistakes in current affairs, but I couldn't remember. There was no logic in that. That's why. Okay, okay right. Uh, did you refer to any test books for this uh, current of, uh, I'm sorry, this uh, GS uh, topics? Otherwise, you, gone through, you have gone through this uh, post coaching material alone. Yeah. I referred actually IS Masters, um, IS Masters yeah, GS book only for that. They are, and for technical, I referred to GS Academy. Okay, right. Uh, uh, okay, after giving this uh, prelims examination, yes. So when you compare it with the key released by some of the coaching centers, so how yeah. many marks were you getting in the prelims uh, paper one and paper two? In paper one, I was getting around ninety three. Uh, while in paper one, I was getting from some institute 192, some institute 195. Okay. So right. I, over, over, over 285 to 290. Right. In between. Amarjit, when you were preparing for this, what you call uh, prelims, uh, did yeah. you prepare the entire day only one subject, otherwise more than one subject? What, sir? While preparing for the prelims. Yeah. Did you prepare only one subject continuously, otherwise you, you made more than one subject? In technical, I used to mix two subjects. Like suppose in morning I used to do one subject, then in night other subject. But in TS, I used to study only one subject. Uh, like I had plan of like there was I started in August. So I started four months before prelims preparing GS, and I had planned of preparing covering one subject in ten days. According to that, I was planned. I had planned that I will cover one subject in 10 days. I have given 10 days uh, approximately for each subject. Okay, that's fine. And, so you said that uh, while taking the test, you used to prepare some notes uh, related to the topics where you did mistakes, etc. Yeah, mistakes. Did you make any short notes for every subject? Yeah, yes, sir. So you used to revise that short notes. Yeah. So what points like, you have made in the short notes? Like uh, some formula and others class may like some important things which was covered in class but that copy was very well in like this before a 10 days of exam i used to cover that copy only not short notes because so easy for in, revision right yeah because in that copy there was all subjects there yes. so i and there was in short notes there was only theory part but in copy there was numerical part so that's also that helped me Right. Uh, similarly, Amarjit, when it, when it came to the, what you call the mains preparation, yeah. where you have descriptive questions, where you require a lot of writing skills. Yeah. So how you have made this preparation for mains? 
in mains exam i was trying to just like pre, like prelims i couldn't prepare for mains because in mains i had to write a lot not <laughs> so i used i had planned that i will write 2 to 3 hours daily approx for each subjects and then i will study for then i used to write like suppose i do, also don't know the answer then also after seeing the answer in the previous year books given i used to write those answer one also so that uh, my writing skills got good because in mains exam writing matters exam questions were not much tough but writing and speed matters in that exam yes so the speed and accuracy they matter a lot yeah. there right yeah okay so What's on the day of the actual mains examination in yeah. paper one and paper two in each yes. one how many questions you actually attempted out of the five that is required i have attempted a uh, five percent but in paper one i was able to attempt only of marks 190 only in mains paper one while in paper two it was 255 okay that's all paper paper one was not paper one i found a paper one was a little bit lengthy right oh, good uh, amarjit in your view and in yeah. your experience also in paper one if you talk about the mains part yeah can you name two subjects which are highly scoring i will say analog and network okay similar in paper two paper two paper two i will say communication and emt sir good very very scoring right and moreover, Amarjit, while preparing for the what you call uh, prelims technical part and the mains technical, of course, mains technical only, have yeah. you covered the entire syllabus? Otherwise, any part that you have left over? Mm, apart from microprocessor and microcontroller, I have covered almost everything. Uh, even in microprocessor and microcontroller, I studied previous year questions only, not theory part. So that uh, there were there are some repetition of question in microprocessor part, so that. If some questions are repeated, then I couldn't, I should not miss those questions. That was my strategy for that subject. Apart okay. from other, that subject, I have covered almost everything. Okay. And one more, Amarjit. Uh, did you refer to any textbook additionally? Otherwise, you just spent time with the coaching material only. Only coaching materials. Sir. Coaching materials. Yeah. In EMT, I have referred a Sadiko book, but uh, in other subject, I have material, material only. So the coaching material is more than sufficient, right? Yes, sir. Right. Good, Amarjit. Uh, Amarjit, uh, when you had that uh, interview, yes. Uh, can you uh, share with us uh, one or two interesting questions that you have been asked in the interview? Actually, my interview was not so good this year. Actually, in interview, there was some question of DC to DC converter shop, some electrical part, but the interaction with the chairperson was very good. Uh, like they uh, he started like um, introduce everything say something about about college and he asked about that when your college was established something then this was then after that if chairperson he started technical question that how will you convert the 120 volt dc to 5 volt dc that was the question after that he asked about the smart meters then that was okay but in, in technical part he Directly asked that you have to convert 120 volt DC to 120 volt DC. How will it convert? Then he asked for the choppers, what are the choppers, what are the buck converters they were asking. So, so I got totally... confused in, in between. Then after that, he asked about the sampling and whole circuit. That was, the, that was from electronics and electronics part only. So I managed in that. Okay, Amartya. How many yeah. questions you would have answered correctly? In First interview? 70-80%, can you say? No, so I will say 60% only. But I, 60%. I, 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 I give reply to 60% question only. Right. And then uh, maybe you might have answered very well some of the questions and you would have got very good marks and written tests also because you secured all India rank 4. That is Actually, one. last last question was very good. Actually, yeah. in, in last question, he asked, said that, tell us something about yourself which is not written, written in depth or tell us something about ourselves or tell us something about your home or tell us something about your your college which you didn't tell it then i said that this sir i have one question to i can i ask one question to you sir, then sir said that uh, no your question is not allowed you are allowed to share idea only what you like here or tell what you 
then i said that the previous year also uh, i gave an interview so the the way you started that be friendly we are like friend and parents only to you so be comfortable and you would relax everything then the way you started to do a very good same thing happened previous year also so in last he said that we want you and that's why we have to like you that's why we have to like that so i think this point was very very end was good so one, maybe one point amarjit when they ask you to uh, tell about them about them yeah what did you say about them no i actually said that the the way you started interview that uh, be friendly we are just like friend only be comfortable so same the many upsc panels are very good they, they are very friendly this this way i said okay right blah, blah, blah. so somehow you hit a 16 in your uh, last ball <laughs> so he said that yeah we want you that's why we have to like that so i think this point was very so i thought that okay before that i was very nervous that my interview went very wrong some questions from electrical part only maximum nice amarjit i'm happy to hear these points from you amarjit very nice to talk to you uh, may I know about your father and mother their professions my father is actually a businessman and my mother is actually a housewife yeah they, so they might have been very supportive in your journey right yes sir so so convey our wishes to your parents yes sir and also your friends who are part of your success yeah uh, and last one question amarjit so with your uh, ex- experience and that too with your all india fourth rank yeah. uh, you please suggest us some tips to the esc aspirants in general and electronics students in particular i will only say that always believe on hard work hard work always pays off because last year also like i missed final selection by two marks then i was there in the very nervous but like like ki esc mere bas ka nahi hai suppose you miss final selection by two marks only then this was coming in, in my mind so i thought then no i have worked hard very well so i should give one attempt to also final one final attempt so this is that's why this year i couldn't write prelims i thought that this will be maybe my last attempt only for esc and in my mind that was there and also one i would like to share that the 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 hard work that i did previous year only that only helped me this year because my grandmother died on 26 february so i went home on 6 6 march and from there i go to I, my interview was on 11 march so i went to delhi on 10 march in night i reached here there at 10 10:30 pm and from there i went to hotel and then i couldn't study well in full last 4 to 5 days then i will say that yeah my previous hard work, hard work only had paid me this time in interview yes so i i will say that we always believe on your hard work only don't believe it may sooner or later you will get the result but uh, always believe on your, your hard work right very good amarjit very good well said well said so thank you amarjit right for sh- for uh, sparing your time and uh, discussing with us some of the strategies what you have made i once again congratulate you and wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors god bless you amarjit thank you